Fall fast asleep with this magical bedtime story for grown-ups. You are listening to The Snow Globe Shop in this wintry sleep story and guided bedtime meditation. You travel to the historic village of Hopecrest on a snowy night. You visit an enchanting snow globe shop that serves as a portal to other worlds. Each time you pick up a snow globe to imagine the landscape within, you find yourself inside its picturesque setting. From a Victorian era cottage to a holiday market, to a snowy city. You revel in the beauty of winter and charming dwellings. So find a safe place to lie down and get comfortable. It's time to dream away. I'd like to welcome you to Michelle's Sanctuary. I am Michelle and as you listen, you may think of my voice as that of your trusted friend and guide. I hope to make you feel the most relaxed and safest you have felt today. I am here to help you come down from your day as you self-soothe and calm your nervous system, using this time to conjure comforting imagery will help you transition with ease and grace into a night of deep sleep and sweet dreams. Customize the details of the story with your imagination. Don't hold back. You may drift to sleep at any point if that feels most natural. You are the architect of your mental escape, so craft this experience in the way that feels best to you. As you settle into your bed, let your mind drift to your coziest thoughts. Thoughts of soft, warm fleece, fresh from the dryer. To steamy drinks on a cold day. Fluffy pillows. A plush bed. A cozy cottage. Your mind continues to shuffle through homey imagery as you snuggle and settle. Now let out a big sigh. Imagine your outbreath is strong enough to cast away all concerns and worries as they scatter into the night like snow flurries. Your exhalation clears the way for you to focus on pleasure and serenity. Take in the fullest, deepest breath that you have taken all day. Feel your body rise and expand as molecules of oxygen travel with a message that it's time to relax. Open your mouth and do a big, sleepy yawn and then sigh let it all out you may continue this pattern two more times at your own pace as you inhale yawn and sigh make a sound and simply let go in the sanctuary of your room, you can be as tired as you like and show it with each breath. Your breath is a vehicle that brings you to a more relaxed and imaginative state of being. Approach it with gratitude and love. Appreciate yourself for using this time to unwind. As you inhale, yawn, and sigh, notice how much more relaxed you feel. 
you will only become more relaxed as we proceed. It's time for the story to begin. There is a historic village in a cool climate not far from the mountains or sea. Every winter brings blankets of snow and blustering winds. But no snowfall is as magical as the first dusting of the season. Like many centuries-old villages of its type, the locals cannot wait to dress Main Street in boughs of pine and evergreen wreaths made by volunteers who also sell their evergreen pieces around the village to raise money for local programs. Snowflake ornaments the size of crystal chandeliers hang from wires across the quaint street and flutter in a wintry breeze. Silvery blue lights twinkle around pearly white tinsel that wraps around the whimsical snowflakes. The cobblestone sidewalks glisten from flurries that melt as soon as they land. The ground is not quite cold enough for the snow to accumulate and endure. Your scarf wraps around your neck and flies behind you on the cold night air that causes your breath to condense. Holiday lights bring softness and warmth to the darkness of early nightfall. Lights in various sizes and shapes and hues wrap around evergreen trees, old lampposts, and the perimeters of three-story dwellings that offer storefronts on the first floor and cozy apartments above. You walk by a bakery, a candy shop, a bank, and the town library. The streets are bustling with families and couples and teenagers hanging out with their friends. Children attempt to skate in their sneakers across the wet sidewalks. The soles of their shoes lighting up in neon pink and blue. You pass a town diner that has served guests since the 1940s. Its original chrome fixtures still gleam and reflect the wintry display outside and the tiers of pies in the display case. The first floor bow windows of storefronts bend out into the street in an inviting way. You arrive at the revered snow globe shop, a store that contains the most diverse array of snow globes to be found in the world. In the storefront window, a snow globe large enough for a child to climb into and frolic nestles between a holiday sleigh and piles of sparkling fake snow. The oversized snow globe contains a replication of the village of Hopecrest, like a dream within a dream. Icicle lights dangle around the windows and roof. A wreath adorned with miniature snow globes hangs on the multi-paned window of the front door. You press your thumb on a frosty brass antique latch and open the door to the shop. A music box plays Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairy in the otherwise quiet store. Melanie, the shopkeeper, has become a grandmother to everyone in the village. Once an English teacher, she retired to open the shop to bring her love of literature and storytelling to life with her store 
A hand-carved sign hangs above the antique register in glass display case and reads, You're only one thought away from a new adventure. Before opening up the boutique, Melanie took time to learn about what she wanted for herself after a near lifetime of serving others. She traveled the world, making her way around it twice to learn what she thought all along. One does not have to be well-traveled to be worldly. The imagination and written word can expand the reach of understanding and empathy to those unable to jet around as she did for three years. Alone and wandering the streets of Paris on a Christmas Eve many years ago, Melanie stepped into an eclectic shop selling vintage velvet dresses and blazers, antique furniture and knickknacks. On a corner table in the shop, she discovered a snow globe that reminded her of beloved holidays gone by. Whenever she held the globe, she slipped into a world of joyous carolers and community, of holiday confections, and snowy nights spent indoors by a fire. It would be the first of many transformative experiences, and it put in her mind that she would find a way to bring this experience to Hopecrest. She could not bring all the souls of her town with her as she traveled, but she could find a way to bring the travels back to them. You wipe your feet on the welcome mat and step on the creaking wooden floors of the shop. Melanie raises her eyes from a crossword puzzle, a daily practice she enjoys to keep her mind sharp and welcomes you to her store. She asks if you've ever been to the shop before. She senses you haven't, but as the popularity of the store has grown, she finds it harder to remember every face to come by. When you happily tell her this is your first time, she explains to you that the experience is different for everyone. But for those who are open to a new journey, the snow globes are there to provide it. Melanie leans back in her chair and invites you to look around. She then says something that doesn't quite make sense. My dear, at any point should you find yourself wishing to return to the shop, find a candle and blow it out. You'll be back here with me in no time. You try not to be dismissive of what seems like silly utterances from an older lady, so you politely smile and thank her. You'll see, she insists, and then returns her attention to her sharp yellow pencil and puzzle. Hundreds of snow globes from around the world are stacked on built-in shelves that run floor to ceiling. Some depict fantastical cities, others capture nature, while some represent old-timey locations from long ago. You are drawn to a snow globe that depicts a village in the Victorian era a miniature horse and black carriage travel through the woods to a cottage covered in snow. You pick up the globe, and it's much heavier than you expected. Its wooden base has been weathered slightly through time, yet the coppery-hued wood still gleams. You bring the glass close to your nose, and peer into the details of the setting. 
the bustling village contrasts the quietude of the countryside, where the thatched roof stone cottage is perched on the outskirts of the village. You shake the globe, and as the brilliant white snowflakes settle, you let out an unexpected sigh. Your breath transports you inside the globe, and you suddenly find yourself dressed in a long wool coat cinched around your waist. You are seated upon a cushioned bench in a carriage as a horse leads you through the snowy village. You inhale the aromas of roasted chestnuts and figgy pudding. A young boy cries out from the corner, sporting a newsboy cap, as he sells newspapers touting good tidings of the holiday season. The carriage rocks you back and forth as snowflakes fall and melt on your face. Main Street teems with villagers shopping for holiday meals and gifts and last-minute items. Candles flicker in storefront windows and glass lanterns illuminate the cobblestones. Carolers sing in the heart of the village near a holiday tree dripping in glass beads and hand-blown glass ornaments in shades of sapphire, scarlet, emerald and gold. The horse guides you away from the holiday splendor to a snow-covered dirt road. The horse's hooves and the wide wheels of the carriage leave their marks on the pristine snow. A full moon shines through a thin veil of clouds to illuminate the path that cuts through the woods. A bunny dashes across the snow, returning to its burrow beneath the snowy forest floor. The woods are quiet, save for the sound of crunching snow and the soft whistle of the wind. Moonlight pours through the silhouette of barren trees, cloaked in a thin layer of snow crystals. You come to a clearing where a 17th century cottage awaits. The snow-dappled thatched roof looks like shredded wheat covered in thick white icing. You guide the horse to a barn, or maybe the horse guides you. You then wander across the snowy lawn to the cottage. The warm glow that emanates from the windows is hypnotic, luring you into the comfort and safety of the old walls. You open the door into the cottage, greeted by the warm dry air and the soothing aroma from the wood-burning fire. The main room of the cottage is decorated for the season beyond compare. Wreaths hang on every wall, and jewel-toned glass oil lanterns illuminate the room in colorful hues. Baskets of pine cones and cinnamon sticks are placed throughout the open concept space. A long dining table is decorated with boughs of holly, tapered candles and brass candlesticks, fine china and polished silverware set for twelve for a holiday meal. You imagine the cottage coming to life with guests on Christmas morning. You smile recognizing the timeless magic of the holiday season that comes from a universal intention to celebrate 
and focus on the good in the world. You stand by the fire and its warm amber glow causes snow to turn into tiny droplets on your dress coat. A cranberry-hued candle flickers atop the mantle and Melanie's words come to you in a soft whisper. Curious about what else there is to explore, you bring your lips to the candle and blow it out. You vanish from the room as a small trail of smoke squiggles through the air from the blown out wick. You find yourself back in the snow globe shop, standing in the same place. A grandfather clock ticks and reveals no more than a few seconds have passed. You look at Melanie as she continues her puzzle. You wonder what it would be like to explore another landscape. Your fingers reach for one of the most colorful settings inside a globe. Half-timbered homes in vibrant pastel shades of pink turquoise, buttercup yellow, mint green, and melon surround a holiday market in the village square. A frozen river snakes around the village, and ice skaters sail across the ice. The fringe of their red, blue, and green knitted scarves flailing behind them. You shake the snow globe and take in a deep breath. And as you exhale, you find yourself on the ice, soaring beneath stone bridges that connect the holiday market in the village. Your body feels capable of things you have not experienced before. And skating comes as easily as walking. You spin around in a circle and extend your arms like an eagle in flight. The freedom and ease of motion make you giddy and you smile. So grateful for these physical sensations that make being alive so worthwhile. You skate towards a gazebo and carefully waddle atop the frozen grass to exchange your skates for warm faux fur lined boots. It takes a moment to find your bearings, but you do. You ascend the riverbank to the heart of the holiday markets. Gingerbread houses and baked pastries Add notes of baking spice to marry the smell of clean snow and holiday wreaths made of fir and pine branches. You explore the holiday market, the stalls overflowing with decadent items that appeal to all senses. Porcelain ballerinas spin atop hand-carved jewelry boxes. Piles of rustic bread, pretzels, and baked goods flow out of wooden crates stacked on tables. Knit sweaters in vibrant stripes and snowflake patterns form plush piles of softness. Crystal and hand-painted metallic ornaments dangle from wooden beams and decorated staged holiday trees for sale. The greatest intention of everyone involved with the Christmas market is to create beautiful displays and celebrate the charm of the season. A gaggle of young children runs through the markets with small, white tapered candles surrounded by paper discs. 
They pass them out and inform everyone to gather around the tree for the evening's vigil. You follow the crowds as the market shudders for the annual celebration. The tree rises a story or two above the highest timbered home in the village and is dressed in rainbow-hued lights and ceramic ornaments made each year at the festival, signed by visitors in elegant penmanship, while some contain photos of people enjoying the festival. A charismatic man with ruddy cheeks and a big smile who looks quite like Santa Claus without even trying, stands in front of the tree with an ivory ribbon candle that has glittery stripes of crimson, green, and gold. As the ribbon candle burns, the man lights his small, white-tapered candle with a flame and then uses it to light the candle nearest him. From that one flame, soon tiny flames are shared to ignite the dark wicks of hundreds of candles. The flickering candles are a solve to the darkness of night and cast the calm, smiling faces of people from around the world in golden light. The man leads the group from one jubilant song about snow and celebration to the next. Many attendees do not speak the language or know the words, yet still they hum and sway along. The sweet voices of children, the vibrato of a soprano, the deep bass voices of men, and some loud, confident voices that couldn't find the right key if given a map come together in a festive chorus of one. And in this moment, you have a profound sense of connection. You tap into something bigger than you. The singing ends and the Santa Claus doppelganger blesses the group with wishes for good health and a life led by love. You bring your candle to your lips and blow it out, sealing in the warm feelings encountered at the holiday market. A floating sensation is followed by a soft thud of your feet and a red and green throw rug in the snow globe shop. For this return, Melanie smiles at you knowingly. She stands and waves her hand for you to follow her and brings you to a nook in the back of the shop. Red velvet drapes hang in the entryway to this tiny room. It features a display of snow globes with city scenes captured throughout time. Tokyo, Paris, San Francisco, Rome, Madrid, London, Singapore, Lima, Mexico City. She brings you to her favorite snow globe in the room, a snow globe for New York. Melanie says in all of her travels, there is something timeless about the holiday season in the Big Apple. She thought everyone should visit at least once. You lift the snow globe from the shelf and peer into the glass. The spire of the Empire State Building is illuminated in gold. Yellow cabs dot the snow-dusted streets. Before your mind drifts away to Manhattan, Melanie places her loving hand on yours and says, I hope our paths cross again soon and that you find delight in this season. It can be hard some years, I know, especially those transitional years.
In other years, you can get lost in all the to-do lists and demands. But try to keep sight of what brings you joy and peace. I found in my life that days may seem to pass slowly, but the years certainly speed by fast. You smile and feel the muscles in your cheeks come to life as you thank her. And with another sigh and a wistful glance at the snow globe, you are transported to New York at the height of the holiday season. You stand in Rockefeller Center. The crowds have dispersed as the last of the skaters grace the iconic rink on the cusp of midnight. You walk down a canyon between skyscrapers, surrounded by gilded life-sized angels directing their horns towards the glittering tree. Spotlights illuminate the ice and all colors in the spectrum. First-time skaters and those who are seasoned gracefully slither around them, encouraging the newcomers on. Snow begins to fall in large white iridescent flakes that land on your hat and parka. And as you look around, you could be in New York in the 1950s our present day, but it all feels the same. The air smells of clean snow and candied nuts sold at a silver cart on the cross street. You walk to the east to come upon the glitzy window displays of Saks Fifth Avenue. You take in the lights show with a late night crowd sparkling lights in every hue you could imagine form a castle six stories high on the building's facade, dreamlike and magical. The storefront windows showcase a world where fairy tale characters come to Broadway to make their dreams a reality. Blue icicle lights strip down around the window displays. You peer downtown to see the Empire State Building as snowflakes dance in the golden light of street lamps and accumulate on the glistening pavement. The yellow bodies of cabs reflect on the shiny avenue as do the colorful holiday lights and displays. You begin your trek northerly and come to an outdoor cart that sells specialty hot cocoa, enhanced by seasonal flavors like creme de menthe, almond, hazelnut, butter pecan, and cherry cordial. You select a flavor that appeals to you, and the vendor adds generous puffs of whipped cream and chocolate shavings to the drink. The sweet elixir keeps your hands warm as a sharp breeze cuts down the avenue. You sip the hot chocolate, feeling the rich and silky beverage cascade down your throat, warming you from within. The night around you is so magical. One would think it could only exist in a snow globe or a reverie. The lights and sounds of a city teeming with holiday cheer carry layers of memories of holidays gone by on every corner. You lose yourself in the blocks walking and sipping and savoring each moment until you come to the Plaza Hotel. Wreaths as tall as you hang in the heart of each window on the first floor, their white lights sparkling like diamonds. You ascend the red carpeted stairs 
to ebony and gold revolving doors to be welcomed by a bellman. The door swooshes as he spins it round and you emerge into the warm air of the lobby. Shiny red, silver and gold ornaments reflect and magnify the holiday beauty. In the center of the lobby is a holiday tree, so tall the star atop it is only an inch or two below the lofty ceiling. A crystal chandelier cloaks the marble walls in golden light. You walk to the elevator bank and ride to your floor, soothed by the elevator's soft hum as tiredness takes hold. The doors open and a bell rings, and you walk down the long hallway. The soft carpeting supports your tired feet. You enter your hotel suite and remove your coat and hat and hang them in an armoire. It feels as if you have been here before and this familiarity brings confidence that you will enjoy a night of perfect sleep. Gold drapes are drawn open and floor to ceiling windows look out onto Central Park. A dark respite from the city lights, the snow-dusted skeletal trees scatter the shadowy landscape. You yawn as you look out onto the park and then close the heavy curtains. You change into cotton pajamas that have your name embroidered in metallic thread on a chest pocket. The fabric is the softest you have ever felt. You walk to the bed, a pillowy headboard with gold trim reminds you of an antique frame. You pull back the freshly laundered duvet and crisp luxury sheets. You climb into the bed and tuck yourself in and then turn off the light. You settle into the most comfortable bed you have ever encountered and begin to drift to sleep. You feel safe within this make-believe world that seems so real that your body melts in this moment of deep relaxation. The simple pleasures of this time of year help usher you toward a night of repose and bliss. As you let go, drifting down, 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 as you fall asleep, finding rest, finding solace, finding sleep. It's time to dream.